Today we're going to talk about how to service the 4K and 5.5K flex power generator. We are going to train you on how to be a certified service technician on the flex power generator. Your dealership will benefit by allowing you to understand and repair the flex power generator and get your customer back on the road. I'm going to hand this off to Steve Holt, our service technician. He's going to go through all the methods needed to obtain certification for the flex power generator. We're going to be looking at the 4K flex power generator today. When you open the front panel, what you're going to see is the front control panel. It includes the gas primer, on and off button, LED indicators, on off breaker, the reset button for overload situations. Down to the right, you have your hour meter. Past that, and in the back, you have a yellow handled pull start. Down to the right further, you have your fuel selection lever, which the flex power generators run on both gasoline and LP. And this is how you choose which fuel to run. And on the bottom left, you have your oil check and fill. Now we're gonna go over a list of frequently asked questions regarding troubleshooting on the FlexPower 4K generator. The most common is the fuel selection lever being in the wrong position. The FlexPower generators run in gasoline and LP, but the fuel selection lever determines which one it's actively using. Down position is LP, and the up to the right position is gasoline. This far left LED is a low oil indicator light. It may flicker or turn on solid. That indicates that your oil level is not appropriate and that will activate the safety shutdown of the engine and it will not run until the oil level is correct. First thing you wanna look for is the indicator LED in the middle of this panel would indicate that the generator is in overload. That can be resolved by pressing the reset button. Another thing would be to check the AC breaker and make sure it is in the on position. The first thing to verify would be connections and proper voltage at your battery terminals on the left side of the generator. The next step would be to check your fuses, both 60 amp and 10 amp located in those two positions. 